Are you someone who's experiencing severe hair loss post your COVID infection to an extent that is causing stress and worry to you because you're getting clumps of hair in the hands? If yes, then we have found out a direct link between COVID infection and your hair loss, which you may observe in about a month or two post your infection. Now, how does it really happen? Let me give you a little bit of a background. In a general scenario, in a normal condition, our hair, about 10% of the scalp hair is into shedding phase. So you have a little bit of hair falling every single day, but it's only within 10%. But in COVID, this 10% moves to around 40%. So, you know, about 40% of the hair on the scalp is ready to fall down up to that you can imagine that's why that severe hair fall happens now why does it really happen whenever the body is under attack with the virus it goes into a fight or a flight mode that means it conserves all its energy towards the vital organs like the brain the heart kidneys and uh, you know your liver and your metabolisms etc but since hair is not an organ it is just an attachment so the body prefers not to give it nutrition you know it's okay to let it go and conserve all its energy towards the vital organs so hair starts getting uh, nutritional less it gets less blood supply and energy and thus goes into a shock now the moment it goes into a shock with no lack of blood supply and nutrients it breaks and it falls that's the reason why it happens and in uh, covid what happens is uh, basically the virus per se is now seen to cause inflammation at the hair root level and uh, you know leading to the breakage and damage of the hair follicles it also could be because of the stress of the disease if you are home quarantined or maybe hospital you know the entire stress that you've got corona that also may lead to uh, hair damage of course along with that the nutritional deficiencies suppose if you have preceding iron and b12 d3 deficiencies that may lead to in corona as it is you don't feel like eating in the illness you know loss of taste can be one so nutritional deficiency can further aggravate the hair loss it also could be lack of sleep you have headache body ache you're not well you know you can't sleep for a long time you're already quarantined all of this, the entire aura of the illness also can lead to hair loss. So I'm going to tell you what are the common uh, characteristics and pattern of hair loss, what we see uh, post the COVID. First is diffuse hair loss. That means the hair falls from everywhere and it is so severe that it's actually in the form of bunches, in the form of clumps. You can see it on the pillow, on the floor, in your washroom sink, everywhere. The second is alopecia areata. It's like con coin like about a rupee or a two rupee coin. You know, uh, you see it on the scalp in the form of bald areas and that's called as alopecia areata. The third one is female pattern baldness or male pattern and baldness we call it as androgenetic alopecia where you get thinning on the frontal part in females and this part you know widens up further that also is seen sometimes your scalp is very sensitive even if you touch you feel little sensitivity and tenderness and that is also a feature of post covid hair loss and sometimes when you even touch the scalp you have hair coming on the uh, hand and that's called uh, you know that actually if you give a little bit of a tug to the uh, hair uh, of the scalp immediately few strands will come and that was not a feature before so this is called as positive hair pull test and this is also one of the feature of uh, covid hair loss so you have diffuse hair loss you have alopecia irita you have you know androgenetic alopecia you can have pain or tenderness and you can have a positive hair pull test so what do we do how do we overcome it now post covid hair loss is reversible the good news is that it is treatable it is absolutely controllable provided you approach a dermatologist as soon as possible because we cannot ignore it we cannot wait for that 40 percent of the hair to fall down and then start building it up again because then by that time the damage is already too late so don't ignore visit a dermatologist and the treatment is pretty conservative you have to go high on protein so dietary protein content like your eggs chicken paneer uh, your you know green vegetables for antioxidants because you, here we are talking about stress to the hair roots so you know your hair fall shouldn't cause you stress and stress shouldn't cause a hair fall again so you have to uh, go high on antioxidants so green vegetables almond walnuts your uh, you know broccoli all of these high in antioxidant foods have to be included along with high protein diet second is you get hair supplements 
in the form of tablets which have all these micronutrients vitamins iron everything those have to be taken about two to three months and after that you have medicated solutions which can be given by your doctor to apply which are like protein and multivite solutions for about good two to three months and these three set of these three will be good enough to take care of your post covid hair loss and arrest it for next two to three months what you don't have to really do is avoid harsh chemicals harsh blow drying uh, of course uh, repeated styling products or maybe harsh shampoos and conditioners you should really avoid once the hair fall comes under control in two to three months or maybe four months five months for somebody then we can start on some hair regrowth treatments like adding minoxidil or maybe treatments like prp gfc's and mesotherapy all of these can be included to regain back the lost hair so good news is that it is reversible but yes it will be really severe just to tell you but if uh, a timely approach to a dermatologist is made you can avoid this kind of heavy hair loss because hair really counts don't take it granted that it will come back um, you know on its own just don't wait for that thank you so much please get in touch for any kind of post covid hair loss treatment or uh, inquiries at our clinic the numbers are given below comment below if you really liked and share to all your friends because this is almost like a second and a third pandemic thank you